Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's Hi everyone, welcome to another clean with me. So today I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the kitchen, pick up the living room, and then also I wanted to show you guys the solutions that I use to clean like the counters and for mopping because I'm gonna mop the floors as well. So here's what the kitchen is looking like. Wash some dishes. I have the mop bucket ready and clean up the living room. Pretty much just pick up, fold, put away everything that doesn't need to be here. Same thing with here. Pick up the recycle. That box needs to go to UPS, so I'm probably gonna take that downstairs. Organize our shoe section. Stock up our closet that we have in the bathroom with the toilet paper. Sometimes, you know, you just don't pick up every day and then this is what happens. You just get stuck with all of these things here. But let's get started. I always forget to drink water when I'm cleaning.
looking pretty good. Take a look. Went ahead and washed the dishes. The sink is clean. So basically what I use is this O Cedar mop and bucket. Okay, so when I mop, I go ahead and I use hot water. About this amount of Tide, just a little bit. Maybe like, I don't know, a tablespoon? A little goes a long way. And I just pour a little bit of bleach. Just like that. And you put it in here. Pedal, pedal, pedal. I like it to be more on the dry side than the wet side. And then there you go, you're ready to mop. So let's get to it. or the solution to mix for your floor through Vanessa Amaro first and then I saw Go Clean Co do it as well. But yeah, it looks like it's drying up so I can go ahead and do the rest. 
and you can kind of see how dirty that water is already. I'm just gonna go through my floors one time, but if you really wanted to get a nice cleaning or deep cleaning, you would wanna do it more than once. And that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.